Hello, David Barron here. I'm here to answer a few hypnosis questions that came from the Advanced Hypnosis Skills Facebook group. Uh, the link is down below. This question came from Sergio Valoni. He asked two questions. How and why, and for what good reason, does rapid hypnosis occur? His other question is, is hypnosis possible that heals physical ailments in one session? Great questions. Hang on, we'll get right to them. Okay, let's get right to it. Sergio asks, how and why, for what good reason, does rapid hypnosis occur? Let's talk for a moment about rapid hypnosis. It doesn't take much exposure to hypnosis or to looking into it or to watching it on YouTube. And you'll see some people enter someone very quickly into hypnosis with a, a rapid induction. It takes less than 30 seconds. Often it takes less than 10 seconds. In these inductions, what you will see is someone sets it up. They mention they're a hypnotist. They're going to bring you into a really intense and wonderful focused state of attention called hypnosis. And they will say, in a moment, I'm going to say the word sleep. And when I say the word sleep, you'll close your eyes. You will not fall to sleep. You will not go to sleep. You will enter into a very sleep like state in which every word I say you will hear and every instruction you will be eager to follow. And then they do something that's rather interruptive. Maybe it's a jerk or a hand drop or a pull and they'll shout sleep and you'll see the person slump over. Well, let's talk about that process. First of all, there is a setup. There is a very brief setup where they tell the person what to anticipate, what they're going to do and how they're going to respond. Now, how does this work? Well, keep in mind that the, as human beings, we do not like confusion. We do not like to be given something that seems con confusing. It's almost painful to us. And so if we're ever put even in a momentary state of confusion, we're going to latch on to whatever we understand. I think a great example of that in my personal experience was I was at a, a group, um, I was in a park at this big festival. There were a lot of people, elbow to elbow. Someone had tried to steal someone's handbag. And the woman who had her handbag stole, uh, stolen yelled out at the person who grabbed the handbag. Now the person who grabbed the handbag uh, did something very interesting that worked very well. She had a glass bottle of liquid, wine or something, and threw it on the ground and it shattered. In that moment, between the yelling of the woman who was stolen, uh, was stolen from, and then followed by that glass bottle shattering on the ground, all of my attention tried to make sense of it. And I focused intensely on that glass bottle on the ground. And time just seemed to stop. I must have been, it might have been five seconds, it could have been 10 seconds, but I just didn't know what was going on. I was in deep confusion. And in that moment, uh, that was what her intent was to create this distraction. Now that's also what you're doing with a rapid induction. You're creating a state that is mildly confusing and you're saying then sleep, close your eyes, go deeper deeper, deeper. And in that moment of confusion, when you hear that word, even only it's a half second of confusion, you're eager to follow into it. And if you've ever done a rapid induction, they're really intense if you've ever had them done to you. And they're also incredibly enjoyable. Uh, it, people will report that that was really weird. I've had some experiences of doing rapid inductions in which it was it was a, a intense shock and a couple of people actually freaked out from it. Uh, I was doing an induction, just demonstrating it to someone at a mall. And I said, sleep. They slumped over just ever so slightly. I said, deeper, deeper, deeper. And their face turned just this bright red. 
And all of a sudden they freaked out, they opened their eyes and they said, what was that? And I explained it to them. So uh, we did it again and it worked better, of course. So that is the, the reason why rapid inductions work. Now, rapid hypnosis, uh, that is where you just give a really strong suggestion and you make things happen. It is often because of that really dramatic response of the induction that you hear the hypnotic suggestion, the hypnotic instruction, and you follow it. Because if this is true with the induction and it was so dramatic, this must be true with the instructions that I'm given. And that's often why it works so well. And also you have to understand that the hypnotist, you, I hope, are giving that instruction with a great deal of intent and confidence with the absolute certainty that they're going to follow it. It is that intent and the context you create around it that makes that happen. Now we come to the second question that Sergio asks. Is it possible to heal physical ailments in one session of hypnosis? And uh, keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. I am not here to uh, do medicine on people. I'm here to do hypnosis and fix very rapid problems. Do your research. You will find there are a lot of documented cases in which physical ailments have been addressed and solved with hypnosis. The one that comes to mind most dramatically, and I've had experience doing it, is eczema. Eczema is a skin inflammation. You've seen people with scaly, dry hands. They look flaky. They may be cracked. They're very painful. They're, it's also very embarrassing. And with hypnosis, I've been able to reduce that and control it. And it's been, there are documented cases of hypnosis being the only thing that's used and the inflammation completely goes away. Also, uh, hypnosis is often taught to first responders, paramedics, so that when they reach someone who is in, a, in an emergent situation, they may have an open wound, they may be panicking, they will tell the person, follow my instructions, start with really slow, deep breath, slow, deep breath good. Now you can stop the bleeding now. I'm here. You're safe. Let all the bleeding stop. Let the muscles constrict so the bleeding stops. And in many cases that instruction in that condition with that person who's there to help you does get a very positive response. But keep in mind I'm not a doctor. I assume you are not a doctor either. If someone asks you to help them with a physical ailment using hypnosis, tell them you know, that you will do your best, you're not making promises, and that you're not a doctor, but also tell them to continue supervision under a doctor. That would be the only responsible thing to do. I hope that's helped. I hope that's answered your questions. Please leave your questions below comments below. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, of course, subscribe, like, respond, all that sort of things. And of course, share. Uh, I will do this once a week, answering questions, posting videos. And if you have any interest in hypnosis in general, there are some great courses I have on my website. Again, link below. And there are also some really good hypnosis induction videos on my website. Again, I'll provide that in the link. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.